It's a dreary start for us on this Friday live view out of our Weird Doral camera right here at CBS 4 station looking straight towards MIA and the Magic City. So you can notice that it's dark out there. There's not heavy rainfall over land, just some light drizzles still pushing through parts of Broward, mainly on the east side from the south to the north. There's a batch of rain between Fort Lauderdale down into Pembroke Park where it's getting a bit heavier and that's right over I-95 then down through Dade there are pockets of drizzles as well which are lying over Miami Gardens, Opelika and also Miami Lakes. Ocean Reef and much of the upper keys seeing the rain develop over the area at this moment. So plenty of tropical moisture has to do with that tropical wave we've been talking about the past couple of days. It's lingering just offshore and eventually it's going to be lifted towards the northeast over the Atlantic. This is the moisture forecast. So uh, focus on the shades of green. Notice that it's covering half of the sunshine state from central Florida down into the Keys. By Sunday, flow is out of the southwest. The actual wave or the remnants of that wave is already away from us, but a lots of moisture being trailed behind that. That's why the wet pattern lasts through Sunday. Flooding is still the main concern. We can't rule out strong to severe thunderstorms in the upcoming days, including today. Coastal flooding also a threat uh, due to the new moon phase. So that could happen this morning uh, during high tide. Here's a look at the forecast model. We'll have a break throughout the afternoon, early evening hours, and then a few showers developing late tonight. Tomorrow morning should be on the quiet side. West Coast dealing with some heavy downpours, and then tomorrow afternoon, all of that presses eastward. So we expect it to become stormy Saturday and Sunday, keeping our temperatures in the mid to upper 80s.